Hi everyone, welcome. It's Lonnie at Grace Blossoms for you. And today I want to make something that I saw Natasha do at Treasure Books. And she made pen holders. And I like the idea so much I got to work immediately and I will show you the ones I made a little later. If you want to play along, first you need a piece of paper for these. I have this book of quotes that I picked up at a thrift store and the paper's fairly decent. It's fairly new, so it's not brittle or anything and it's gonna work just fine. So I'm just gonna tear a piece out. All right, so what we wanna do, and I make mine just a little bit different than Natasha did hers, but that's okay. We just do what works. So she started by folding the first fold about so, and then the second fold my aim is to get that kind of in the center. So roughly there. Then she took this piece and folded it on top. What I've been doing is um, folding it underneath and then lining up the folds so that they relatively match. It just helps me center that part and then once I think I've got it fairly um, even then I press it down and then I press the bottom one down first and then I adjust the top one if I need to and then I press that one down all right so then another thing she did was she took this bottom and folded it up in back, which would work if your paper wasn't overly thick. Like um, the first one I did, I used music paper, music sheet. And so it got a little too bulky. So what I did was I just cut it off. For this one, I can it's a little bit thinner, so I can just um, fold it like she did. All right, so then she sewed hers, and I did sew some of mine, but you don't need to. In fact, they're roomier if you don't sew them, if you just put one bead of glue here to join everything, but we'll get to that in a second. All right, so then if you wanna ink it, do that now. Also, um, depends on where all you fasten yours, where you ink it. Um, because of the way this paper is kind of thinnish, I'm going to be um, I'm going to be gluing this part to the back, and obviously this part to the front. And then my cavity, if you will, will be right there. So the way she did hers, she put all those together and then her cavity was there. So it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, I, I've done it both ways and I mean, she didn't sew this part, but if you wanted to ink it, yeah, so if you're going to have it to the back, I would say no point in inking this part. If you're going to have it where the cavity is there, then yeah, you're going to want to ink there. So decide how you want to do that. 
and then go for it. So maybe for this one, I'll put it to the front. Although I did find that was a little more, um, with the gluing, you have to be a little more careful where you put the glue and that. So it's a little more work, but you can, like I said, do as you would like. And I did really enjoy sewing these. However, um, I tried one without sewing and then I just decorated it with the mock or fake seam. And I like that one equally as well. And I'll show you that one too. So lots of great ways to do this project. And that's always nice because we like options, don't we? Just whatever is more friendly for us as we make it just gives us better results. And two, I managed to add this as a flip in one of my journals. So then I did want the back inked as well. Okay, so there's that. All right, so to see where we have to glue it all, the first flap has to go down. I try to get it right on the edge of the paper so that the pen that you're eventually gonna put in there isn't gonna get stuck. So, Keep adding a little bit of glue. Mine doesn't come out very much at a time, so that's good. Okay, so there's that one. Then, that's right, I'm gonna do that one. See, if I was doing it to the back, I would just glue that down flat now, and then it would be done with. But now I have to figure out kind of where it's going to meet up here. And I don't want to overlap. I don't want to get glue where there's going to be cavities. So this might be a little more tricky. that. And we'll glue this to the back. Yeah, so usually I just cut mine off and then when I was sewing it, I just closed it that way. Since I'm not sewing this one, gluing it should be, folding it will be fine. I could also have just glued the bottom. That would have worked as well. All right, so there it is. Now, I just want to make sure that my seam there is good. And the cavity is good as well. So nothing is the pen isn't going to get stuck anywhere. Okay, so let me go grab a pen. Now, some of these, well, if you, you know, depending on how big yours actually end up being, depending on what size paper you use, these may actually um, hold more than one pen. Uh, the last one I made, I fit about three different pens in here. And this one would probably hold even more. However, you probably guessed it, this will um, add bulk to your journals. So um, I guess I could have used a smaller piece of paper, 
but it just depends on what you're using. And then, okay, so I'm going to do that um, fake seam again. And what I just basically did was I took a, a Sharpie. This is an ultra fine point. And I just roughly drew a stitch line. I did a zigzag. And it just added to the look. I just really like that. And so, in fact, what I liked about the stitching in the first place was just the look it gave. Just an added decoration. So, yeah. So how are you guys doing today? Are you getting into the swing of October? I will admit it took me a while to get into the idea of fall. I don't actually know if I've arrived there yet or not, but I did find myself looking at the leaves that had fallen and uh, I guess in my way coming to terms with it. Now because I'm not sewing it and this is just decoration, I can just keep going here if I want. And I'm not being over care overly careful with this zigzag. That would take a lot longer. All right, so there's, you know, it's pretty much decorated now. And then you just add whatever touches you want. You could put a cluster on here. I was thinking for this one, I might put some roses on. that I had fussy cut and these are from fussy cut freebies the Facebook group and so I am using those so like that and then I have this ribbon that I found in my stash. It's a paper ribbon. This is back from scrapbooking days. Digital scrapbooking we did and then I didn't need the files anymore so I printed out some. So a bow and some rib and some roses. So I'm gonna put that on there. For some reason I really like brown and pink together. Okay, again, I got this idea from Natasha at Treasure Books. She did a whole bunch of different ones. And this one is just the one that called to me. So I decided that was what I was going to try because I'm always looking for things to add to my journals that um, would add some benefit. And maybe that I don't have yet, so there is that one then I'm going to show you how it looks in the journal I put it in already I'm I've mentioned before that I'm making journals for a youth group and my sister gave me this nice fabric so I made a journal cover out of it and then in the center of this one I put 
the pen holder and I actually made it a flip with some washi tape, which I secured with um, my Barely Arts glue, so it's not going anywhere. But the pen will go back and forth. And I just put a butterfly on there. And this way, if they don't like the pen in the middle, they are free to remove it and put something else there. It just it can be used as a regular pocket. But um, that's where it's going for now. And I love it. It's just, it adds to the journal. So, and yes, it is a little bulky, but I didn't think of that when I ordered all these pens in bulk. So now it is what it is. All right, so the other ones I made are these ones and these are the ones I sewed and these are made out of music paper music sheet so I had I had like this large sheet of music and so what how I made these was I cut it right in half and then this is half a sheet and I had them coffee dyed. So that's how I got those. And then I just sewed around. So they're pretty. And so I made a few and I decorated one. I put this little fussy cut of a ballerina and she was from Creative Fabrica. So yeah, I really like this project. I would say it's pretty easy. You can sew or not sew. It's really not going to change the look of it very much. This one with the uh, book page is a little bigger. So, like I said, you can make it smaller by either cutting it or folding it up more. It's entirely up to you what size you end up with so there's that project it's not very long it's not complicated and it it's different so thank you Natasha for that idea I really appreciate that and uh, I hope you guys do too go check her out if you haven't watched her yet she's funny and she's very talented all right uh, well that'll do it for today and we'll see you next time thanks for joining and Bye for now.